at noon. People are still being asked not to go home after a massive explosion at the Williams Northwest Pipeline plant in Plymouth, Washington. Welcome to Queen 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Now, a one mile radius near that plant is still under evacuation. Jessica Morkert has been following the story since it broke on Monday. She joins us live now. And, Jessica, what can you tell us? Well, Jenny, I just found out that crews have been able to go back into the site where this happened. They've been going in about twice a day, and they have been able to release some of the pressure valves uh, on these two uh, tanks here, or on the tanks here that have been leaking. Uh, but everyone within a one-mile radius is not allowed back here. And for those who are here or who are home, they're wondering what's next. I felt a concussion in the house, and my husband was out in the garage. And the dogs and cats just sat straight up. The back of Sandy Taylor's deck faces both LNG tanks at the Williams Northwest Pipeline plant. The massive explosion forced her and her family out of their Plymouth home at around 8 o'clock Monday morning. It was a, an exhausting day. 24 hours later, she's back, but worries for those who are still not allowed home or worse. Just, I feel so sorry for the people that got hurt. Yeah. Because Do they you know? sponsor our, so they have sponsored our soccer team down here, and they've been part of the community. Five people were hurt, but are expected to be okay after an explosion that is still posing great risk to the community. Roads are still blocked off, about a mile from the site. A massive command post with emergency responders from the southeast portion of the state are helping to subdue the danger. Washington State Patrol bomb squad and Williams plant workers have had success releasing pressure at the plant. But there is still an active leak that could ignite any time. Spent the day at the fairgrounds, and we're going to go back at eight because we want to make sure it's a hundred percent safe. Don Wallum and her husband have been cleared to go back home, but she still has concerns with a newly built home just two miles from the site. Back at Sandy's, she says she's willing to live with the risks. You know they're there. It could happen. Just like. You know, like that mudslide. I mean, they know the mountain was there. They just didn't know it was going to happen. So wherever you live, there's probably always something. And back here live now, crews have been going into this plant again twice a day, assessing the danger risks. They tell me at 2 o'clock there will be another briefing uh, for the residents uh, who haven't been able to go back to their home. They're hoping to lift the evacuation to a quarter mile, but I'm told for at least this afternoon, uh, the evacuation area will remain at one mile. Live near Plymouth, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News. Very unsettling for those residents. Thanks, Jessica. We will continue to follow the situation for all the latest developments. Stay with Coin 6 News. We will bring you the latest as soon as we learn it, both on air and online.